ready to embark. Nice to have you back, Commander. Naxos seems secure. We have done great things together for its people. But now, we must look beyond these shores and destroy the cult. They are everywhere and nowhere. Their followers are without number. Where do we start? We cut the heads off the beast, one at a time, until they are blind and defenseless. Sparta. Sparta? I still have influence there, and allies. We can rally around our home and cleanse it of their influence as an example to the world. It will be dangerous. Their hold on Sparta is strong. Don't you think it's time we returned? Together.
I have only a few more things to do here. As soon as you're ready, we'll set sail for Laconia. I think there's something you should do first. What? You need to find your father. Who is he? He's a difficult man to describe. He's many things, but the only way to truly know him is to meet him yourself. So you won't tell me now? There are details only he can provide. I hope when you meet him, you understand. You'll find what you need on the island of Sira. I've given your navigator the course. I'll see you in Laconia. <sighs> I'll be there. May Poseidon keep you safe. Safe journeys. Thera. What's this? You made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? Not yet. You should. The answers to many of your questions are there. Your father would be proud to see how you've grown. For now, let's deal with what needs to be done here. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. As much as I curse this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Cephalonia ever did. Sparta is our home, but we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nicolaus stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and crossed it to the bottom of the sea. Did you put memories of us in that box? I wanted to, but it would have taken all the wood in the land to build one big This is where I first trained you to use your spear. 
Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Alexios, wait. You shouldn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I hope you're right. For their sake. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them, weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Irodas. Enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Come on! Come on! Come on! You kill someone! Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me he's going to bring glory to Sparta. <sighs> as much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your sister? <laughs> I was scared I'd break her. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held her so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of her. She turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? Oh, I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. 
It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers, then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What can you tell me about Pasanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. Waiting won't make this easier. They won't look kindly on you asking for favors without offering some kind of help first. Like taking care of the soldiers arming the Ilotes. I'm tired of doing people favors. Let's get this over with. Come on then. Your mother's waiting inside. Archidamus. I yield. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then. As I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamus' guard has improved. He should thank me. Rasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her son, Alexios. I heard you'd come back. How dare you step foot on Spartan soil? I should cut it off for what you did. They helped us secure Corinthia, my king. I beg you to listen. They are descendants of Leonidas. For that reason alone, they should be allowed to speak. 
And if we don't like what they have to say, you can chop off any limb you see fit. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your son killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose he gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. What you say is true, but I swear by the two gods my intentions are pure. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to return home. Here, where I was born. What happened on Tychedos brought shame on Sparta. You and your family have no home here. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how he'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. ...by making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Ah... <sighs> perfect. One last thing. When you come asking a favor, it is customary to bring a gift. But you didn't. So now I will choose your gift for you. A wolf has been attacking farmers on the Discuri Peninsula. People say it's King Lacaon himself, cursed by Zeus to live out his days as a wolf. I will kill this animal, and bring you its head. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done, and you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas, show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? What's going on in Viotia? The Athenian army is pushing Sparta back bit by bit. Winning won't be easy. If anyone can turn the tide there, it's you. What do you know about this fighting champion I'm supposed to take to the Olympics? The Pankratian fighter. His trainer will know where he is. My thanks. Things are not quite what they seem. But you must keep this champion safe at all costs to succeed. I will. Tell me about this wolf. It's under a curse? It's causing a lot of trouble on the Dioscori Peninsula. You'll be doing the people there a favor if you get rid of it. Where can I find it? I'd start near Deros Cave. 
that's where it was last seen. One of the kings is a cultist. So, one of these tasks is surely a trap. But, which one? Brasidas? Wouldn't say that within earshot of the palace. But I fought with both of them. I can't believe either is a traitor. We need to find proof before we make any accusations. Keep your eyes open. I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Pausanias asked me to bring the Pancration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Alexios of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there. Isolated. Away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor. ...on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia... ...but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Sorry, closed. I need oil. Then I'll be on my way. 
There is a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the Master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master, maybe explain the situation. What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? Oil of Apollo? Sounds good. No, what did I need? For the final touch, a rose petal. Testicles will smell so good. I hope he appreciates this. Ah, it smells so good. I almost want to keep it for myself. Fortification improves the stamina. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I'm Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil? My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Ah. Wait, what is this stinking piece? Are you all right? Yeah, actually feel much better. Cleared my head right up. 
No time for a little drink to celebrate. <laughs> Sail first, drink later. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, he better fucking win. Wow! Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. Sure. Who do you think will win the most race this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pankration, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who is that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner? You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Well, looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pankration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on apart from the Pankration? 
There's Javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. <laughs> Τι λαμβάνει η χώρα. 